Hey, Sermon Central, how you doing? This is Matt. I am super excited to share with you today about one of the topics that I find extremely interesting here on the site, and that is the idea of contributions and contributing. And I want to start this tutorial off with just kind of a question and idea, something to share with you. It comes from the Great Commission. So in Matthew 28, verses 18 through 20, Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. And if you're like me, I have asked before, you know, how am I supposed to do this? How am I supposed to go into all nations teaching and sharing? Like, how's that supposed to happen? And I think that one of the huge things that Sermon Central offers is this notion of con contributions and contributing where people can share sermons and share illustrations because this is one way that you could share literally to the ends of the earth. So I want to just walk through real quickly how easy it is to start contributing on Sermon Central. So if you have, you got to make an account, but once you have an account, you log in here and go to your account dashboard. That's this button right here. The dashboard then takes you to your account. You scroll down and here you have my contributions here on the down on the left. And you'll see right here, share a sermon. It's quite literally this simple. And sharing a sermon or sharing a text illustration are the same thing. So log in, come share a sermon. Then this page pops up, sermon details, a short title. Let's say Great Commission. Um, you can apply it to a series if you want. A description, you know, the great, the great dot, 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 then your body, you know, blah, 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 the Great Commission. So you build your sermon out. Um, you can use many different ways to format that. You have a language here, uh, English, audience type, audience age. Then you come down here, assign scripture. You assi start assigning scripture to it, Matthew 28. Let's say you also quoted Ephesians, um, I don't know, 1, 5. Add that. So you can add in scripture, add in topics, great commission. You can see there's pre-populated choices, or you can just write it in. You add that. Maybe you're also talking about, you know, um, missions. You could do that. Add that in. So you can add tags, um, and those tags help people search scriptures. So this is how you build a sermon out. I just did it the other day myself. It's really simple. And once you get it all populated, you're done, and you create that sermon. Once that sermon is created, it goes to one of our staff members who curates all the sermons and illustrations, and then once they're approved, they go live on the site. If for some reason we have questions, we'll reach out to you and ask you about something, or if for some reason your sermon or illustration is not approved, you'll know that as well. But that's as easy as it is. And again, like I said, the same you use the same path to do a sermon or an illustration. So if you want to do an illustration, same idea, share a text illustration. And, and then the page comes up, you populate the page, and there you go. So create that text illustration. Now back to this idea of the Great Commission. If it's so simple to contribute, what an amazing way then to have a worldwide impact. And let me explain that to you. One of the things that we have built into this, if you go back to your account, you see this contributor dashboard. If you click on that, it'll take you to a worldwide map that shows you the specific worldwide views and interactions with the sermons that you have contributed. So this is one of our users who's shared, I think, 300 plus sermons. This is the last seven days for him specifically, almost 8,400 total views of his sermons in the world. 299 of his sermons have been viewed in 111 countries. This is his top sermon right here. It's coming up Mother's Day. 2,700 people have viewed that. So we feel like this is an amazing way to then see the worldwide impact that you're, you're having. And it's an awesome way, again, if you're in ministry, as you sit and wonder, you know, how am I going to, how am I going to answer the call of the Great Commission when I've got, you know, whatever, a smaller church, or you may feel like you're just stuck. Well, here's an amazing way. You're making sermons every week. You're, you're creating illustrations. You can share them through con contributions here on Sermon Central. And like I just showed, it's just that easy. Sharing a sermon, sharing a text illustration, 
and then you can come back in and look at the dashboard to see the impact that you're having. And like this gentleman in particular, you see this, in India alone, in the past week, he's had over 250 views of his sermons. So again, as I think about myself, you know, how to have a greater impact in the world, one avenue is through contribu contributions, is becoming a contributor on a site like Sermon Central. And as many of you have asked, you know, how can I do that? Well, look, it's just this simple. You got to make an account, populate the account, but then share your sermon. And it goes through the process and then pops up on the site. So an amazing tool at our fingertips as we're creating sermons anyway. So I hope this helps you. I hope it shows you just how simple it is to begin answering this great commission in even a, a creative way, a different way, through account creation and then sharing of sermons. So together, man, let's keep working together to spread the gospel good news to the very ends of the earth. Thanks for listening and check out, I'm going to have another tutorial specifically on this dashboard soon called the Contributor Dashboard to dive in and explain at more depth what these different features mean and how you could use this to your benefit. Thanks for listening. Have a blessed week and an awesome day.